So I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is make a holder for it. I don't know. Well, that's kind of cool to do like that. I mean, that might be a good idea. It's kind of a lot of weight. You gotta really make that tight. Or do we just do two hooks? A hook and a hook. I kind of like that too. Yeah, a hook and a hook. Give ourselves a little space. Boom. Boom. Yeah, the hook's better. It'll be stronger. It's raining right now. How does the rain sound? We'll do a bigger base, bigger base. You know? Something bigger. I want the back of this to be like as wide as the tool. So if I slide it over up against another thing, if I slide it over up against this, the tool will still fit because there's, you know, don't explain that any further. You don't need to. They didn't follow that. Rough length, 13 inches. I definitely need some lighting, right? I'm thinking about getting a wood stove for this winter in here and then sealing the, the doors up with wood, you know, building a two by four framed wall with plywood and then putting some like cheap ass door on it or something. And then putting the wood stove so it vents out, but my table saw is in the way. I don't know, just wet dreaming. And then use the ring hall, the retainer as a center point. You know what size that is? That's a spray point, yeah. Two and a half, what did I say? Two five eight. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. How big do I want this to be? Maybe, how much does it come out? One reason I'm using plywood to make these boxes, plywood's got strength in both directions, where just like a one by six doesn't have strength. The only strength is in this direction. Like you can't break it this way, but you could break it this way. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm working too fast. I'm gonna take a little break. I'll be back, I'm more drunk. I have a love-hate relationship with this camera. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Tiny House Customs, you'd see that I was having a problem with my SD card. I bitch about it quite often because it happens a lot. But if anyone knows how to fix this, I'm showing you a picture right now, probably. That little thing that it's saying, like is there a quick fix on the camera without reformatting the whole SD card in the camera? I have to go and get my computer and set it up and some people are like, is it the, one, one guy, is it that hard? Yeah. Yeah, well my computer's like a half a mile away and it's raining outside. I don't want to go get my computer and set it up. I have like a designated area for my computer and to keep it clean. And I don't like bringing it in the shops or in the house. I like to, to stay in my car. Sounds weird. I know. But, so you guys saw me make this one. I believe I filmed that. And then I made this one. This one is extremely complicated. So I've got lines but some of them are radius on um, backwards everything is backwards but this will this oh god this will hold that if you can you can see it you know it's kind of flat on the sides we'll see it'll be good so now I'm gonna cut these shapes test it and then I'll rip these blocks to a better size sounds like a plan and then with the plan. You need to knock it off. I don't know what you're doing. Sure, it's no good though. Oh, I saw a skunk and I was giving me nothing. Now I'm just skunk. So I got a little, little tiny little jigsaw blade on there to uh, make those tighter radiuses. What if I cut this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Almost good. Oh god. So this is gonna stay the same, but this we're gonna drop. I mean, I don't know about you, but no, it doesn't look good. Okay, well, I'm gonna try it at least. That's pretty damn close. 
you know? That's gonna work for this rodeo I got going on here. Next. Jigsaw is probably one of like the hardest tools in the world to use. If you're cutting and you push over one way or the other, it'll really twist that blade off to the side. So like it looks like you're cutting good on your line on the top, but actually what's happening, the blade's kicking out to the side and you end up with a really shitty cut. So it's really important when you're cutting is to not put a sideways pressure on the blade and to steer it. And if, if you feel yourself pushing, pull back, let the blade straighten back out and you'll end up with a pretty decent cut. I know that's not, it's like a weird titty looking shape, but whatever. Weird titty shape will work for me. Good. One thing with making these, I gotta make sure I wrap the cord up the same way every time. So I will do it the same way every time and not spend too much time playing with it because you gotta think, you know, you're working. That'll work. Good. Cut those. It'd definitely be nice to have good lights in here. Good. Let me soften this a little bit. Pancho, what are you chewing on? If anyone wants a dog, I've got Pancho here. I call him Fluffy. Oh no, what do you got? It's got some wood. Yes, I got it. It's mine. <laughs> That's great. Here. Here, come here. Yeah. What do you got? You got some wood? You got some wood? Poncho, go play outside in traffic, please. All right, so I got everything trimmed up so it's like nice and flush. I just wanna kinda neaten that up a little bit. It looks a little, a little bulky. So I'm just gonna do like a 45 on here. I like it. It's a bit much. So I've been pre-drilling all these holes with one of these things, you know, it does a little countersink too on top of it. Makes it a little nice and pretty. Just using about an inch and a quarter. I should be using a little bit more than that, but. A little extra sink. Get another eighth inch out of it. I kind of got used to working and having music playing. But I can't have music playing when I'm making videos because, you know, the copyright gods. So if you've never heard of a French cleat, where have you been your whole life? But a French cleat is on the wall. I've got these mounted. It's got a ripped 45. I guess you could do any angle. I didn't really research it. But I figured 45 is gonna hold it the best. So these are mounted on the wall like this. And then each of these that I make, I install the opposite of that. So it just, hooks on there and it stays in place. Um, I did space them out kind of far. So when I mount these, I'm trying to mount them in a way that it's catching, it's catching two of them. So I'll probably mount this so that it's like that. That makes sense. Inch and five eighths. Done. What'd that take? It took a while actually. Good? Where's the tool? Good? Oh, Jesus. Amen. That works good. These aren't the same height, though. That's going to bother me. Oh, God. I'm not going to use it that often, so up high it goes. Oh, oh this is going to look super cool when it's done. Man, can you imagine? Like all my tools everywhere. Oh, nice. Hey, how are you? So I got, obviously I got a bunch more tools to make stuff for, you know, I've got several drills, corded drills, a right angle drill, the 
the hammer drill. I've got nail guns. I've got sanders. All these different tools. So I'm gonna, you know, mess around with this for the next few days until I run out of plywood and then I have to get more. I do want to add some more things to this. Uh, that whole, the whole section behind the, the chop saw, it's just that flat sheet of plywood. That's gonna hold flat stuff, you know, like a framing square, speed square, stuff that doesn't stick out too far. Uh, maybe even put nail guns there. That might be better. I don't know, we'll see. But thank you for watching this video, and because you watched this video, I was able to buy that. Does it make sense, you know, ad revenue, you watch that commercial? Unless you run ad blockers, then you know what I think of you. I don't really like you, but why not just get Google, what is it, red, and pay 10 bucks, and the creator gets a little bit more money. Not a lot, but a little bit. And it benefits YouTube as a whole. Is there any mice here? No, I haven't found one. Well, why not? Well, they're all elusive little fuckers. Uh oh, peanut, your phone number's showing. Yeah. Trying somebody to rescue me. Like, get me away from here. Quickly, hurry. I, so, I no, just decided next video is going to be I'm going to install the fluorescent lights and do some electrical, maybe. Because you guys love electrical videos, especially if you're an electrician. You love them. You're like, oh. But I need another drink, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you on uh, the next video. Don't think it's going to be next week, but it'll be eventual. Eventually. Yep, me good English speaker. Come on. Let's go.